Welcome to the BIF Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival. We talk with our guests about their latest film, the filmmaking process, and we take a closer look behind the scenes. My name is Julia Rudkowska, and my guests today are director Kamil Kravczycki, director of Elephant, and actor Jan Finkiewicz. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Are you an elephant? Bartek is being asked by his family. Jan, can you tell us a bit about Bartek and his story and his background? Hmm. So, uh, when we meet Bartek, uh, he's, he's living in a small town, uh, in South Poland, on the countryside. He's responsible for, for like, ho ho housekeeping and um, responsible for his mother. She's in depression, and at the beginning of the movie, we've got like introduction about his daily basis life. So um, he's working in some restaurant during the day um, to make the bills and everything. He's taking care of horses. That's his big dream and love to to build one day as stable. Um, and also, he's taking care of his mother. Batek meets an old friend after a few years in the village. Who is it and um, how does their relationship mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, so... Uh, he's not his friend, actually. No, like, you, you mean the, the, the second guy? Yeah, in the yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. it's not a friend, but... Um, I, I mean, um, one day their neighbor dies, a neighbor of Batek and his mother, and his uh, son comes to the village uh, for a funeral and for, you know, all, um, all this kind of stuff connected to this uh, funeral. Um, and this guy left like 15 years ago with a um, scandal behind them, and he didn't speak to his father for, this, uh, the, for, for that time. Uh, so he came back. He comes back to, to the village now, and um, Bartek meets him, and um, it it is a new beginning for him, I guess, because it's a trigger for him to to start thinking about um, his life and um, something that he needs to change in his life because he just basically falls in love. Last year, the Polish parliament voted in favor for an anti-LGBTQI law. Uh, you also addressed this in your film. Uh, how did this fact influence the filmmaking process and all the work? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the, it, it was let's see, just voting. I mean, just voting because it uh, didn't uh, work out for, for them, but uh, it all makes this uh, kind of... Uh, atmosphere in mm -hmm. Poland uh, which is not friendly especially for queer people so you know for example if you're a teenager you live with your parents and you are not outed yet and you hear on television just like him about this uh, this kind of stuff it can be you know very bad for your um, for your health for your uh, head yeah for your mind yeah so so yeah, it was. Uh, we had pretty dark time in Poland last uh, three years, I guess, if it comes to queer people, because we uh, it was um, a topic, everyday topic uh, in Poland, and it was uh, there. There was a lot of uh, hate speech in our country, but also we found many allies. So, but it was like, um, yeah, it was like major topic in our mm. country. It was related, of course, to politics because uh, our government um, was starting in re-election and they had this idea and it was all, all calculated. They, they wanted to use us uh, as a tool if it comes to, you know, um, winning elections. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's why uh, that's why they were talking about all the time and um, actually without any consequences because our president told uh, to the media that we are not people we are ideolo ideology and uh, also a lot of politicians said that we are like pedophiles or stuff like that um, yeah so it was pretty intense um, and um, and dark 
still a hard situation for queer people. Um, how did you two work together as director and actor? How was the working process? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how was the working process? Uh, for me, it was the most beautiful and mm, delicate process of filmmaking ever. That's my biggest role ever. And um, yeah, that the vibe on the movie set was really special. Mm, it's hard to tell why, but I guess because of this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, director is like a head of everything and uh, Kamil is also responsible for the script and um, for inviting many people to this project. So it was also a micro budget uh, found film. So nobody did it for money. We were more like, okay, there is a thing to do. We've got a kind of, I don't, I don't like to call it a mission, but... Um, the, the, there was just this need in people yeah, to tell yeah. this story. This is yeah. Yeah, the, the most important thing, you know? If it comes to micro-budget, yeah. you, you have to, you know, um, have these people on the set that really want to tell this, this, this particular story, you know? And we really uh, felt that this, is, this will be important to many people. Because, because it's giving uh, a voice to queer to the queer community. This is why you're also nominated for a queer film award. It's called Echt. So fingers crossed. Um, we already talked about the title a bit, Elephant. Um, when Bartek is being asked by his family, they use this word because they seem not to want to uh, say words like gay or queer. But on the other hand, an elephant is a symbol for me, um, for wisdom, for strength. Was this the background so that you wanted to give, share this symbol? Yeah, actually when I wrote this scene, um, I was looking for something you know, so strange and so weird uh, that she could tell because she didn't want to, she, she didn't know how to tell this, this word, she didn't know how to say gay aloud, but she wanted to give him uh, like full ac acceptance, yeah. Um, accept acceptation. Accept yeah. Accept. Full she 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 wanted to give him a full accept, but uh, she didn't know what to say and how to say it. Mm. So that's why I was looking for something so ridiculous. Uh, but also when um, also then I found out that this is like a symbol, um, this elephant, and it, it means a lot of things. Yeah. Speaking of symbols, um, Jan, you already told that Bartek is living and working on a horse farm and horses are also his kind of only support and they make him, ha make him happy. Um, is there also a background because he's like trapped in this small Catholic village and horses are also a symbol of freedom? Is there a connection? With, yeah. Um, it, it, maybe it's a question for for Kamil about the script and about the construct of of uh, the story. Yeah, I mean the the, the horses give uh, give him um, a bit of freedom, like for you know f few minutes um, or few hours, so so he can feel this this kind of freedom. But it's it's all just you know uh, pretending because it is not uh, for freedom, and also these horses. I like um, they are freedom, as I said, but they are also something that um, he cannot escape. Yeah, it's like a comfort Why? zone yeah. for him. So we met him, and as you said, like maybe the society would be for him abusive if he will uh, come up with his orientation, but um, he doesn't have to do it because he's, maybe it's a trap, but at the same time, it's a little bit like a um, um, comfy place for him. Yeah. So his relation to his mother is obviously toxic and it shouldn't happen like that. And um, yeah, the horses are a part that makes him survive. Um, it's a, it's a, for him, it's a breath, it's a, time when he can feel really free and I don't know if you have some experience of horseback riding but the moment when you gallop uh, 
it's it's really special thing. You've got the feeling like you're flying, or you can forget everything. So he's yeah, that that that's his escape. Um, but um, I think the really really important thing in in his life um, it's lack of touch. He he doesn't receive like normal touch from his mother. Um, the scenes where where mother touches him um, are are very special. I mean, the touch is a tool for manipulation, and um, he is not the addressat of this touch because the touch is so specific, like for the partner or I don't know. You can feel it in these scenes that it's not like mother son's touch. And then the David comes up, and he gives him uh, this uh, tenderness, and he can see him for the first time as he is, with all his character, and and then there is no way back after this experience. Um, horses are not enough because the, he can ha hug the horse, but animal cannot give it back in the way that human can mm -hmm. and that's the basic need of every human being and he was not conscious about it he was like really as you said like in the comfort zone so uh, appearance of uh, I mean when the David comes up this is a huge um, kick for for Bartek to to change there's no way out Sadly, I don't have experience with horses, but I wanted to ask you, Jan, did you have be experience before the film, or did you have to learn yes, to ride Yes, I, I had some experience, but very lack of this experience. This is a funny but, story. <laughs> but when he asked me on the ca during the casting, of course, this, this is the thing that when you're an actor and they're asking, hey, can you dance, can you sing, can you play a piano? You always say, yes, of course, <laughs> sure. No, without any I didn't doubt. know that. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's... I believe him. Will not I believe him. I hired him. <laughs> but also, uh, of course, I fell in love with him. So it uh, wouldn't be a problem if you <laughs> say to me. I had a couple months. Yeah. That was a privilege as well for this project. That I had a couple months to prepare. It, it's not so obvious in Polish industry, film industry. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's just a couple weeks before the role. And here. Uh, yeah, I think I had uh, like half year or maybe five mm -hmm. months. And during that time, I was living in Iceland and I found a stable there. And I was working during whole summer in, in stable with horses and with tourists as well. So I did some experience before and it was so cool to learn something new. And w when I was reading the script and I found out that Bartek is riding horses, I was like, yeah, I just want to win this role to have a like reason to learn it, you know. But now you have the experience for your next project. You can yeah, write it in your guitar. Of course. So it's been my, yeah. yeah. You, you were so excited when we were shooting this uh, scenes with uh, horses, I remember. <laughs> yeah. You were waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> But it was my micro budget, so they were combined in only two days, actually. And yeah. the scenes with David were one day, and whole scenes when I'm riding along through these beautiful landscapes, there were only one day of shooting. So, yeah, my butt was pretty harmed <laughs> after 12 <laughs> hours in the saddle. I believe you, but uh, watching the film, it was worth it. It was yeah. worth it. It was worth <laughs> okay. it. Jan, Kamil, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.